Hey, we're making French onion soup here on Tybee time. Mm, stay with me. Welcome back to Tybee time. So here we are, we are in the midst of it. We are making French onion soup. All I've done so far is peeled and I'm starting to slice five onions. You can do six, seven, you can do more. I'm only using five. I'm gonna slice them all up and we're gonna start caramelizing them after, so stay tuned. Now, as you can see, I am not a trained chef. I do not know how to slice onions in that very fast, quick way, but this is all I'm doing. I cut both ends off of the onion, I've peeled them, and I'm slicing them lengthwise. So I'm gonna to continue to do this until they're all sliced. All right, let's get started. I've got my stove um, on a medium heat right now, and we're gonna add the stick of butter and about about a tablespoon of olive oil yeah you know what maybe two tablespoons of olive oil how's that sound and I'm gonna let that melt together and then we're gonna add the onions we're gonna lower the heat when I add the onions we're gonna let it go low and slow and let those um, onions caramelize this process takes a good hour. I, I want you to know the truth. It takes a long time. That develops the flavor for the soup. That's the entire flavor of the soup is by waiting and letting those onions caramelize. So I'm gonna let wait for this butter and this oil to come to the right temperature and then I'll add the onions. All right, here we are. The butter's just about completely melted. I'm gonna turn the heat down. And I'm going to add in the onions. Look at that. It's like half full, this pot, this great big Dutch oven. That's almost half full with onions right now. But by the time these are all caramelized, they will melt down to just like a single layer at the bottom. But that's fine. Just don't do the temperature too high. You don't want to burn these. And it does take a long, it takes a long time. You have to be patient with this process. So I'm going to stir this to get the butter. Well, actually, I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to throw some on the floor. <laughs> um, I'm going to stir this until it gets completely covered with the oil and butter. And like I said, I turned the heat down to medium. It's medium right now. I'm going to end up at medium low and just let it go. Okay. So I'm not going to have you sit here for an hour. We have this at a medium now. I'm going to turn it down there. Okay, so we are at my uh, stove is gas. It's numbered from low to high, which is one to nine. And right now I'm at a four. So number four, and I'm going to leave it go. So stay tuned. Just going to bring it back to show you this is 10 minutes in. Just continue to stir it. Don't just leave it alone, you know, for the hour. Stir it as often as you can. All right, we're back. There's, this is 25 minutes in. And like I said, it's still on a medium low heat. I've been stirring it every so often. And now I'm gonna add, I have some garlic and olive oil. And I'm gonna add a, 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 well, about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of granulated sugar. And I'm going to stir that in. And like I said, it's just going to keep on simmering at this low heat. And I've got 34 minutes left on my timer, but hey, it may even go longer than that. This is some this is a recipe you really have to be patient with. And this is where the flavor develops. If you cut it short, you're not gonna get a good as, the soup won't taste as good as it, as it would if you had gone the, the whole nine yards and made it very, very caramelized. So stay tuned, we're gonna keep this going. Okay guys, this is 40 minutes in and we've got a long ways to go yet. Like I said, this is something you have to be very patient with. Do not increase the heat, just let it go. It's gonna pay off in the end. All right, guys, this has been an hour and 10 minutes. Not gonna lie to you. 
and I'm gonna let it go even longer. I want that to caramelize a little bit more. Guys, this has been an hour and a half. Let me take this. An hour and a half. Do you see how beautifully caramelized those onions are? Okay, and see how it looks like there's nothing left? This is where I wanted it to be. Now, I'm gonna add, this is a half a cup I guess you could use sherry or white wine. This is dry vermouth. I use dry vermouth for this. Now we're gonna scrape up any bits that are on the bottom. I still have this at a medium, a medium low heat. Let me turn it to, now it's at a medium heat, okay? I'm gonna end up turning it up. But let me just stir this in. And we're deglazing the bottom of the pan. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm telling you, where the flavor is, is the caramelization. Now I'm gonna add in eight cups. I have beef broth over here. I use what's called better than bouillon beef, and that's what I'm using for this. So let me add the beef broth in, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just adding all of the beef broth in. This is eight cups of beef broth, and the reason I had it over here heating up on the stove is like I said, I use better than bouillon. Um, let me show you. This is better than bouillon, roasted beef base. So I use a couple tablespoons of that and then I heat it up some water to dissolve it. And that's been simmering on the stove the entire time the onions have been caramelizing. So this is where we're at now. And I'm going to add some dried thyme leaves and I'm gonna put the cover on this and I'm gonna let that simmer for another half an hour. Okay, like I told you, I've got some thyme leaves. I'm going to put you know, about that much in and kind of grind it around in my palm to release the flavors. You know what, I'm gonna put a little more if you know, the name of my station is Tybee Time, and I love time. And I'm also I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt because the butter had salt in it. And the better than bullion, I'm sure, is salty as well. So I added probably, well, that was three pinches of fresh ground pepper. And now I'm gonna turn this to a medium high and bring that up to a simmer. Yeah, and I'm gonna let it go for about a half an hour. And I will put the top on it loosely, like not completely covering it. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, let's fill a bowl. Oh, this looks amazing. It smells so good. Okay. So here's my crock. Oh, goodness. Fill that up, put a little more in, just a little more in. And I didn't do the crusty bread. I decided to go with croutons. So this is what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna top it. I'm going to top it with some Swiss cheese and provolone cheese. This way you get the bites, you know what I'm talking about? All right, so here's provolone. And I don't know about you, but when you go out to a restaurant and the cheese is dripping down the sides of the bowl, that's the best part. So this is Swiss. I grated some Swiss. I'm putting that on top. And oh, I'm loading it up. So I'm gonna stick this under the broiler for about four minutes. Let's see. I got the broiler ready. Okay. We'll be right back. All right. This has been in the broiler for four minutes. Oh, that looks incredible. Four minutes. Me. Oh, see how the cheese ran down? I gotta take the aluminum off it. Hang on. 
So she ran down the sides of that. That is what I love when you get it in a restaurant. Isn't that incredibly beautiful? All right, let me grab. I should have had a spoon ready. It's gonna be way too hot to eat this. But let me dig through the cheese. Oh, you guys. This, look at the crouton all. Oh, there's no way I can eat this. Okay, I'm gonna say to you, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for watching Tiny Time and try this recipe. I'm not gonna steer you wrong. Like and subscribe.